Hey guys, Fire here from In Depth Gaming, I'm bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Total Arcade Racing. This game is developed and published by Pretty Fly Games and releases on November 19th, 2021 for a price of $9.99. At the time of recording this video, it is available for pre-order and on sale for $7.99. Not sure how long that sale lasts, but you might be able to save a couple bucks if you're watching this before it comes out. So what is Total Arcade Racing? If you ever went into the arcades in the late, you know, 80s, early 90s, maybe late 2000s if you're lucky, you will have seen arcade machines that were like top-down style race games that featured just a couple different tracks that you could play on. Now, what Total Arcade Racing does is it takes that exact same mechanic and builds it into its game. It's a top-down racer where you have control of your car, you can do boosts and everything, and ultimately you're just trying to um, get from one end of the track to the other. It's, it's a traditional race, like I can't really sugarcoat it anymore, um, but the difference is, is the game is a full top-down view. Now, there's not a lot of things to this game outside of, you know, finish your laps, beat the other opponents, and every few uh, few seconds in a race, as you can see that little lightning bolt that's appearing above my head, that's actually a boost that you get. So think of it like a little nitrous oxide to give you just a little edge against your opponents when you're playing. And that's how the game works. Now, this entire game is all, um, you know, local offline. So, like, there is no online component to this. So if you are looking for an online multiplayer game, unfortunately, Total Arcade Racing is not for you. Now, the online mechanic that the game does have is leaderboards. So you can compare how you do on different tracks through time modes and the different championships and other stuff against your friends online. Um, you can do local co-op and have friends like playing around with you. That's completely doable in this game and it is up to you if it's something that you choose to want to do. But I know with COVID and everything going on, couch co-op games are getting harder and harder to really play. Um, but nonetheless, it doesn't really hurt this game too much. You are going to get presented with a wide variety of tracks, tons of different obstacles, and just all kinds of things in between. You're going to be able to unlock cars. Now, as far as the progression to unlock and really how this game works, it does a very poor job of explaining how to play the game. So I'll kind of cover that now. You're going to use your right trigger for gas, use your analog stick or D-pad for steering, and then you can use the X button to trigger that boost. The boost is when you see that little lightning bolt up here above your car, and that's kind of the gist of the game. Now, different tracks that you're going to play on may have different obstacles from oil slicks to water that you can fall on to a full-blown train that's going to blow up cars and everything in between. And as you sit and play the game, you're going to unlock those different, you know, aspects of the game and, you know, ways you race. The game's going to start up very simplistic with races like you see now that look very traditional, um, you know, looks like a road course, feels like a racetrack, nothing really seems too out of the ordinary, and then the game's going to quickly ramp up to a level of, you know, challenging difficultness that's just going to get very almost mundane and kind of take away from the fun a little bit. This game isn't a hard completion, so... I will say that right off the bat, but it is time consuming and it's going to take a little bit of skill as, you know, not everybody's going to be crazy good at, you know, top down racers. They can sometimes be very disoriented um, or sorry, disorienting and hard to, you know, pay attention to what you're doing. Um, what I do like, though, about the game is there is a ton of different modes, although I feel like the game does miss out because I can't play the modes online with my friends. I love doing the Destruction Derby style mode, and I can go crash and break up cars, do time tracks, and try to best myself and my friends on the leaderboard, but I'm still held to the limitations of I can't play with my friends online, which definitely hurts, and I know this game isn't a game that's super expensive, so, you know, that is kind of part of the aesthetics of the game. Speaking of aesthetics, uh, the game actually looks really good. It's quite simple and bland. It's nothing too over the top. It's just simply a top-down racing game that's not trying to be any more than what it really is. It's trying to just be that, you know, you paid under $10, here's an under $10 game. Um, and really nothing is too clunky or doesn't work right in the game. Um, the different game modes like we were talking about, you can get like custom races, survivor elimination, endless, all kinds of things like that. And then this is just a little glimpse if you look on the right side of what some of these courses look like. So you're going to get into all kinds of crazy terrain and cups that you're going to ultimately have to win everything. As well as all these time trials, you're going to have to get all the stars to really best out and complete this game. Um, 
the only real buggy thing I have noticed, and I'm noticing now just while recording this, is for some reason my progress hasn't carried over, as I have been playing this game, and it looks like it reset me. This could be due to a game update, but who knows, but just keep aware of that. Maybe the game developer can comment on the video and let us know if that's just maybe an update that I missed and didn't really realize was happening. But overall, that's the simplicity of Total Arcade Racing. If I have to recommend by buying the game, waiting for a sale, or passing on it, I think for, you know, under $10, it's worth buying. It's a fun top-down nostalgic game that's really going to give you that arcade feel when you were, you know, grew up in the 80s and 90s. And, you know, if you're a 2000s, you know, baby and you never got to play stuff like that in an arcade, this might be a great way to see what your parents played and maybe be able to bond locally on the couch with, you know, your mom or dad or, you know, super older brother or something. Who knows? You can pick up Total Arcade Racing now. If you have any questions, as always, let me know down in the comments. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and have a great rest of your day.